So story time, okay? So me and my ex-mother-in-law got into it. After years of dealing with the disrespect and the crap and just the backhanded compliments and all that good stuff, everything finally came to a head, right? Well, after all of the issues, this woman turned and looked at me and she told me that she treated me exactly like one of her daughters, if, if I were her own. And I told her that can't be true because I had just had a birthday maybe a couple of weeks ago and I got no call, no card in the mail, no present, no acknowledgement whatsoever. And I told her this and I asked her, how could you say that you treat me exactly like one of your children and my birthday comes and goes and you say absolutely nothing? Well, her response was that I never acknowledged her for any of her birthdays or Mother's Day or anything like that. And I told her to go take a look at all the cards because she was one of those people who kept all the greeting cards and the Mother's Day cards and the birthday cards. I told her to go look at it. I told her to go take a really close look at those cards because I know that she knew that her son's signature in his handwriting was not on those cards. I was the one planning the gifts. I was the one sending the cards and signing them and picking them out and coordinating everything. And here I was not only getting shitted on, but not getting any acknowledgement on my birthday. That type of stuff really makes you feel shitty, especially when you know that you are the one handling gift giving and that thing for the entire family, not just your immediate family, but mothers-in-laws, cousins, nieces, uncles, nephews, all that stuff. And if you don't, if there is no gift or no card, they are quick to blame you for it. It's your fault. It's never his fault.